Let's understand how to manage Spark Metastore databases. When we talk about managing Spark Metastore databases, it is all about dropping and creating the databases. Whenever you are not sure about the syntax, whether it is DDL commands such as create database, create table, or DML commands such as load or insert, or DQL command such as select and whatever command you want to use, it is better to review the language manual. Spark Metastore depends upon Hive for syntax, and hence you can actually search for Hive language manual, and you can start reviewing it for the syntax of any valid Hive or Spark SQL command. I typically go to Google and search for Hive language manual and then click on this uh, wiki.apache.org confluence blah blah blah. You can click on this. As we are talking about DDL, we can click on DDL statements here and you should be able to go to commands related to managing databases by clicking on this. You see there is create, drop, alter, use database. You can click on this and you should be able to get all the details here. As part of this topic, we'll cover some of the important uh, features with respect to create database command. We'll not be covering all. However, if at all you need some additional feature, you can review by coming here. If the feature is available, you can use it. Otherwise, you have to come up with some custom solution. That being said, we can create database using create database command. Uh, example is create database, database name. If the database exists, it will fail. If you want to ignore without throwing error, you can use if not exists. And if you use if not exists, the syntax looks like this. Create database if not exists, database name. We can list the databases using show databases. Spark Metastore is multi-tenant database. And hence, there can be n number of databases within uh, Spark Metastore. To switch to a particular database, you can use use command. And this is the syntax for this, which we have already seen earlier. We can drop empty database by using uh, drop database. And then you have to use the appropriate database name. It is ITVersity demo here. So let me change it to ITVersity demo. However, if there are tables or views in that database, it will fail. To make sure that all the objects within the database are dropped before dropping the database, you can use cascade after drop database database name like this. It will make sure that all the tables and other objects within the database are dropped and then database also will be dropped. You can also specify custom location other than the default location which is pointed by Spark SQL warehouse directory by using location like this. So using location, you can give whatever location you want. It will make sure that uh, the entire folder hierarchy is created if it doesn't exist. However, you need to have permissions uh, on the base directory. In our case, base directory is nothing but user IT versity. And the user IT versity using which I have logged in have write permissions on this. And hence, uh, the database will be created successfully. If you don't have write permissions in any of these uh, directories in this hierarchy, it will fail with permission related issues. That being said, let me drop the database if it already exists by using drop database if exists itversity underscore demo. Now I'm creating the database. The database is created. If you run this command again, it will fail by saying database itversity demo already exists or database database name already exists. If you use if not exists, even if database already exists, it will just ignore. We typically use this as part of scripts to create staged databases as part of the complete ETL or batch data processing pipeline. You can uh, run show databases to get information related to all the databases. As we have hundreds of databases, the itversity underscore demo is not listed here. If you want, you can actually go to the command line and you can figure out like this. So we can say spark2 hyphen SQL. Let me actually go back uh, to the spark2 SQL command. I'm deleting this hyphen hyphen database option. There is a option called as hyphen E. You can pass a command as part of this, it will just run the command and come out of it. I am running show databases command and I want to grep for itversity in it. Now I can hit enter. It will run the show databases command. The output will be pi put to grep, which is nothing but a Linux command. If there is a database by name grep, sorry, not by name grep, but by name itversity, it will actually show the database. However, it is complaining saying that show databases is not a valid command. Let me check the syntax about how to pass the command by saying spark to hyphen SQL hyphen hyphen help. Hyphen E is quoted query string SQL from command line. That is correct. Show databases is a valid command. Probably I might have to use semicolon at the end. Let me see if I use semicolon at the end uh, if it works. Typically it works. I am not sure why it is failing. Now let me actually delete this and launch it and if i run show databases it will actually show so many databases 
let's see and there will be ITVersity also in them or ITVersity related databases which I have created including ITVersity underscore demo let me now run show databases here and hit enter it is actually giving the results I don't know why it failed uh, when I use hyphen e typically with hive it works I think with spark uh, there is some syntax issue however it is not very important and hence I am actually passing on now I can come out of this and then we can actually run select current database to show which database we are connected to by default we'll be connecting to default database if you do not specify any database name while launching spark session you can see it here as we have created itversity demo database we can use use command to switch to it we can now run select current database command to actually see the which database we are connected to now it is nothing but itversity demo we can also validate the path the path is nothing but user itversity warehouse that is the warehouse directory for this uh, user i have set using set uh, spark sql warehouse directory and uh, underneath that uh, there is a folder called as itversity underscore demo dot db that is what uh, it is resolving to and uh, as of now it is empty if you want to validate as we have seen earlier you can uh, actually run hdfs dfs hyphen ls on this and then grep for itversity and you will see itversity underscore demo dot db underneath it now i am creating a table underneath it Earlier, when we actually run HDFS DFS hyphen LS, it was empty. Now, once I create the table, and if I run HDFS DFS hyphen LS on the same folder, which is created for our database, we can see there is a folder for table, table underscore demo. This is how the folders will be created for databases, tables, etc., which I have covered quite extensively as part of the previous topic. Now, I can drop the database by saying drop database itversity demo cascade. If I don't use cascade, it will fail because the database is not empty. As uh, I have used cascade, it will delete the folders related to table and also the uh, folders related to database and also the metadata in the meta store will be cleaned up. Now if I run this, it will say no such file or directory because uh, the database is also dropped. This is how you can uh, specify the custom location. Otherwise, it will go to the warehouse directory using location keyword here. In this case, I have used custom location, user itversity custom itversity underscore demo dot db. If custom and itversity demo dot db doesn't exist, it will just create those things and it will create the database. As the database is successfully created using this location, let's validate these locations. So in this case, I am running hdfs dfs hyphen ls under slash user slash itversity slash custom. It will show itversity underscore demo dot db, which is specified as part of the location earlier. You can see here. Also, if you actually look at slash user slash itversity slash custom slash itversity underscore demo dot db, you will not see anything because we just created the database, but we haven't created any tables using that database. This is how you should be able to create or drop the databases using create database command or drop database command. You can use if not exists to ensure that the create database command doesn't fail if the database already exists. If the database doesn't exist and if you don't want to fail your drop database command, you can use drop database if exists and you can pass the database name which we have used at the beginning of this topic. You can see here drop database if exists the database name and also while creating the database you can specify the custom location using location. So these are some of the important uh, keywords which we typically use while creating the database or dropping the databases. There are few other options which are not very important at this time. If at all they are required they will be covered as part of the future topics. As we understood how to create or drop databases uh, in Spark Metastore now it is time for us to review information related to Spark Metastore tables.